everyone and welcome to today's video. This spring is very exciting because we are finally finding some time to dedicate to trail building on our property. Brandon and I own about 5 acres and though that size is modest for a trail development, we're still stoked about the idea of having something to go play around in in our own backyard. This will be the first video in a series I plan to bring to you as the year goes along. For trail building, the first and most important thing you're going to need is proper clothing. This part of our property has been overrun by invasive vines, honeysuckle, winter creeper, and yes, poison ivy. Boots, gloves, pants, and long sleeves are critical if even the tiniest chance of coming into contact with poison ivy is possible. A good hat or sun protection is also important. Next, you're going to need the right tools. Consider trail building machinery and heavy duty equipment a luxury, but it is by no means a requirement. In today's video, I am able to clear an entire trail using just my hands, a reciprocating saw, and a McLeod. If you haven't heard of McLeod yet, I highly recommend it. It's basically a robust rake, shovel, and tamper all in one. Use the rake end to pull up roots or clear leaves and debris, and flip it around to use the sharp end to dig and break ground as you clear a path. This trail took me a couple of weeks to clear. I plan to go back and tamp it later. We also plan to add a couple of wooden features and a small rock garden too. If you enjoy this video, I encourage you to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see all the updates as they come out. Join me for the next episode when I get the chainsaw out and clear a path through several large hedge trees. Thanks for watching. Even if you can't build trails of your own, I guarantee there are volunteer opportunities out there for you to earn your dirt on community trails. It's a great experience to help out and meet new people. Alright, that's it for me. You all have a great week, and I'll see you in the next one. And this is why this trail will be named Poison. This bad boy was a gigantic poison ivy vine that we cut last fall. So hopefully it's kind of dead. But that's like uh, the thickest poison ivy vine I've ever seen in my life. It's humongous.